Hey guys, what's going on? This is Fox here, and I recently built a popper magic cube to test out that has a little over uh, 230 cards, I believe. Uh, I was gonna do like a four, 420 or 360 uh, card cube, but uh, had a little bit of an issue with the sleeve count um, so in sleeving my my cube here I, I realized that I didn't have 300 of the same colored sleeves uh, so I did do multi or multiple colors in sleeves um, so in order to randomize it as much as possible uh, just to test it out I'm pretty much just going to shuffle everything up and then deal out packs. Uh, I think I can get up to six people with this cube. And then, um, so that's 45 cards and then six piles for three 15 card packs. Um, and then, this is a combo heavy cube uh, for, for a lot of the the, com the popular popper combos uh, that you might know of if you are aware or familiar with the popper meta there's there's a bunch of infinite combos you can do with the common cards or the, the, the common man's uh, magic cards so uh, today I just wanted to show you like kind of a test run of what the drafts the draft of this cube would look like and then what what kind of decks I may end up with um, in regards to like the what I end up drafting with and I'll try to do it as random as possible uh, for the packs I'll be using I'll, I'll end up looking and, and picking out a card and then shuffle it up and then distribute the cards evenly amongst the other piles and then those piles will kind of be the bots or the AI players if you will so right now uh, I'm just gonna shuffle up as best as possible and then uh, we'll kind of get we will kind of get through this fast so I can just fast forward it um, once I start shuffling. So a lot of the infinite combos are kind of silly. Um, if you're aware of Popper, they uh, they kind of insist, uh, ins revolve around like the Traction Helix, uh, Presence of Gond, um, like some mill strategies with the white merfolk that every time a blue creature or you tap it to make a blue creature I believe that's a white merfolk that makes blue merfolks and then retraction helix is a good instant speed uh, target permanent has tap return target permanent and then you you know, you play Ornithopter and with Mirror and Spy, and then you can either storm off with like, uh, uh, well, I guess you don't, you're not storming off, you just cast Ornithopter infinitely, make, uh, make that one monk dude, that blue monk, really big, or you can mill infinitely with. Uh, the blue, the blue Velvigan guy that mills. Uh, I'm really bad with names, uh, but I can uh, most likely uh, like put them in the description below or add them in the video after I edit. So I'm just gonna shuffle up as best as possible and make the packs, and then we'll. Uh, We'll go from there.
so now when I'm trying to figure out how to randomize this as most efficiently as possible, since as you notice, there's a lot of sleeves that are similar color, and then not that I remember exactly like what cards are in what sleeves, because that is one thing I, I don't want happening. Um, I just want to make it as random as possible, so so try to uh, now just make like the the 15 card packs or the the piles of 45, should we say? Okay, here's one. And if there's a more efficient way, uh, you feel free to let me know. Uh, this is just maybe how I I've been doing it here and there. And I'm kind of doing it on the spot too, since I'm recording this. So we got three piles ready, which is three players essentially. Alright, so we got four piles ready, and I had to recount because my background is pretty loud, and I get distracted easily when counting.
five. So then, after all that nonsense, I got some extras left, and I feel like that's okay. Uh, I feel like it, it'll be just fine to have extras if you do. Um, those will just be, you know, cards you don't end up using. Um, and this is a small cube, so it's not, you know, not the end of the world. So I got my six piles here to make booster packs out of. So I'm just going to uh, start with one pile and make boost packs from there. So I'll probably just shuffle up each pile first to make it as random as possible and then go from there. So I have the OCD in you or um, ADHD or whichever it may be causes you uh, to be enraged by the way I, I shuffle 
or leave my card or what have you or am doing this uh, I apologies in advance After uh, displacing and organizing um, the packs and making sure they're all evenly at three fifteen card piles, um, I got had a little hiccups here and there with just missing my counting and and being distracted by background noise. Fortunately for you, it was sped up, and thankfully for me, that only took about nineteen minutes to do. So what we're going to do is, um, I'll just take, I will take this pile for, like, myself, and then the other piles, uh, will essentially be the AI, the bots, if you will, the other players. Um, so, technically, like, when you're in a, a circle of a, of a drafting group, or a pod, as they call it, uh, you start with, everyone starts with a pack, everyone has three packs, and then you start with one pack, and then you pick one, and then pass it to your right, and then when those packs are all gone, you take your next pot pack, and then pick one, and then pass it to your left, and then they reverse for the last pack. Uh, so, I found that the easiest way to do this is uh, when I pick my pack or when I pick a card from my pack I will like take a card and then shuffle out the pack and then kind of make five other piles because uh, those are like the five other people picking the pack and then like like the the most next player or the no the most next pack to me will take a card I'll take a card and then distribute the other cards to the other players. Now it's a little hard because um For some reason, I just found it hard to do uh, drafting this uh, like as a simulation on my own, uh, just to see how it would turn out. Uh, but I try to make it as random as possible. So I mean, I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, it's gonna be kind of rough because, again. I'm trying to just to simulate it, uh, and there's only so much I can do. So, uh, let's just start with this pack. So, we'll see that this pack starts off with 
Ivy Lane Goodison, Meyer Retriever, Verdant Eidolon, Student of Ujitai, Wrecking Beast, Warp Landscape, Racto Skill Paint, Warza Basilica, Succum Succumb to Temptation, Spider Silk Net, an upside down spore frog, or maybe not for you. Uh, Mammoth Umbra, Catalyst, Elemental, Reviving Ghost, and Empty the Worms. So, since I know what the combos and synergies are, or at least I hope so, the, the things that go well together in this cube bar, uh, I'm gonna try to do my best and throw all that on, out of the window and just go, you know, oh, you know, out of this pack, what would probably be the best card to take? And I think just from a standpoint, I would probably take the Basilica for the fixing because it taps for two mana. And since that's in the like first pack, let's just pretend I don't know if there's other ones in the cube. I guess you could assume that all of the bounce lands are in the cube because they are possibly legal. Um so but from a like a first timer point of view, I would feel like out of this pack the land would be the best. Now Spore Frog is good for the fog and it's a creature. If you were looking at this, maybe Spider Silk Net because it has reach. But than that it's kind of awkward because you don't really know like why it would be in here. And for the record, my retriever is proper legal, even though they upgraded it to an uncommon. Uh, Ivy Lane Denizen, um, the effect on it is cool, but from a standpoint, I wouldn't know why it's in here. Student Ujitai looks like you want to go Jeskai, maybe? This is a good card draw. Maybe Catalyst is a storm. Because uh, you can sack it at two red mana. And then speaking of storm, there's Empty the Warren. So, but uh, from just thinking about how I want to go about this as a first timer, I feel like the Basilica is the best choice for this pack. And we'll see if maybe I do end up uh, an Orzhov, or it just ends up being like a really good fixing with extra mana. So um, I'll put this card right here. Can't see it. So I'll end up putting this card like right here, just because it's my card. And then we'll go like, uh, this is a pile, this is a pile, this is a pile, this is a pile, this is a pile. I feel like that would work that way. And then we can put this pile over here. Uh, this pack would take its card first. And then I would get it, right? So then uh, and again, I'm merely simulating it. Um, 
I don't draft a lot, so I'm trying to do it like it just well, like it's just me doing it, so it's kind of hard. I don't know why my visualization for drafting is difficult. So from looking at this pack, we have a Pilgrim's Eye, which is good for getting a, a land. Uh, Breath of Mal Malfagor. It's a little steep on the mana, uh, but if you can get there, that's five damage. Uh, Gary. Um, I don't know if I'm doing like heavy on black yet, so it's kind of hard to determine if he's good. Otherwise. His uh, ETB is really, really good. Land of War Elves, you know, that's good for turn one, ramp. Revitalize, that's a two drop, gain three, draw a card. The total loss is just you bounce it normally permanent. Oh, here's another upside down card. Okay. Shenanigans, um, Looking at it, maybe, like, you wonder, is there artifacts in this cube? Um, because you might want to, like, I'm trying to think, oh, okay, I just am playing this cube for the first time, I don't know what the format's like. And the dredge is kind of awkward, because I don't know, is there, like, some kind of dredge archetype? Um, Gynate Legionnaire is just a good flying haste creature. So, there is a land destruction card in here. And it's, uh, controller loses life. Another artifact, a 2. Uh, you can get a 3 3 elephant for 4 mana, and then it has rebound. So, you know, that's pretty good. Hissing. Uh, Iguana, Iguana, it pings a player or planeswalk every time a creature dies, or another creature. Opt, you know, that's a really good one drop scry draw card. Another zero drop artifact, so, is that just because they're easy to cast, or what's going on? And then, uh, Paranoid Delusions, it's a mill with Cypher. So... From looking at this pack, the only card that really fits my colors is maybe Gary or Revival. So I feel like if I want to stick to my colors, we maybe go Revitalize. Or I could try to force Mardu or Esper. Hmm. Maybe we try. I think we try the Sky Knight Legionnaire for the the hasty two two. Because, like I said, I'm trying to come at this with like a fresh perspective. So I shuffle it up. And then they get a card, they get a card, they get a card, they get a card. I think, yeah, and so this pack, we think this is this person's, they get their card, and they get the card, and then it comes to me. Alright, so we got Angelic Renewal, 
Icebreakers, Blacksmith, Pro Red, pretty good. Uh, Bat with Bloodthirst and Flying. Uh, another Artifact Tank card. There's a Retraction Helix that I mentioned earlier. But again, a new fresh perspective. Why is Retraction Helix in this set? This format. A uh, good haste proof or haste proof, hex proof. Uh, we got prism, draw card when it enters. Uh, a big. And it's not really big, but it's a three-two with hex proof and flying. Another storm card. So then maybe you think, okay, storms in this format, and then impact tremors. That's an interesting card because we just saw the empty the warrens. So maybe that's what one of the, the goals are. If you can get there. But I think I just want to take another hasty creature. Because I feel like when you're drafting in the. When you're doing limited, you know, hasty creatures are always just really really good and you want to win as fast as possible maybe unless you have a really good control or mid-range deck so they'll get a card they'll get a card they'll get a card we're put the top to the side oh uh, let's take this pile so, they'll get, get their card, get their card, get their, get their card, and then now it's back to me. So we got a draw three, discard two. Uh, a big three four that gives us war life. Some removal, gain life. Uh, a big a big cyclops. It's good. So thermal in this off the bat, you think okay, well there is kind of a spell slinger theme that you can do. Wave Arrow Bobble is pretty good. Uh, another land. You can uh, it's good for fetching your basic another zero drop artifact. I wonder what that would be. Savage Smash, uh, just a good uh, plus two, plus two, and fight. Scare Tiller, when it becomes tapped, you can put a land from your hand on the battlefield tap, or return a land from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. And then you maybe think back to that Dredge card. I don't know. Uh, Noble Templar, it has Plane Cycling. Stormfront, it taps a creature with flying. And then Falcon Wrath Noble, uh, every time another creature dies, you drain someone for life. Uh, looking at the cards that I've picked, I'm kind of on this Boros route. So I feel like I want either the Templar for the uh, the land fetch or either early on I can cycle it or later I get a 3-6 with Vigilance or I can get this 3-4 Convoke Gain 4 Life or a 4-drop 3-3 three, three, Trample later on if it's 6 round I can get um, on get three one one counters on it. So it's kinda hard. Hard to determine. I think and normally in a draft you would think, oh well, uh this card should wheel because you know, oh it's a you know, it's a six drop. No one's going to pick a 6-drop this early on. 
Well, this is a six drop, but it has cycling, so it has good utility. And the Cyclops seems kind of boring, so. But, you know, I'm shuffling up each pack after I pick a card and then just distributing to each pile. So it's kind of hard to determine what will go where. And even with the sleeves, you know, it's, I'm not purposely giving myself cards. But I think I will just take the Templar because it has cycling and then uh, for early on and then if I get it later, it's uh, 6 3 6 is that done? I don't know. And if lightning bolts in this set or this cube, then it survives that. Uh, or it survives in survives that moment of craving. Uh, but then, you know, there's a chance of just straight up removal, so kind of pick your poison. So then, this guy will get a guard, and this guy will get a guard. So everyone will have four guards by now. And then we'll just take this pile, uh, give it to this pile, give it to this pile, pile, pile. And now it's to me. So it looks like we have another land catcher. But it goes to your hand, so it's kind of awkward. Uh, draw three, discard two, unless you have an enchantment. And a loose spell fist. He gets really big every time you cast a non creature. And now, here's an awkward situation where you have a creature with infect. And it has fire breathing too. Do you go for the fire breathing infect creature? Well, maybe. Uh, Gothros Faithful is a light card. If, if you're playing Grixis, you splash this and gain yourself a life. And then we have the Rakdos Bounce Land, Lightning Strike, Ghostly Flicker, which is a I feel like you would just assume it's a combo card, but maybe not. A looter. Uh, when this becomes blocked, you can just remove it from combat. And then a bounce. Bounce a non-land permanent with evoke. So I feel like just the best card out of this is just picking the ogre. You know, if you want to play the infect route, you don't have to, but and you don't know how much more of this infect is going to be in the in the cube so I feel like to avoid being killed by infect you probably just pick it so I think if you were to see something threatening like that in a in a cube you haven't played with before maybe pick it just to avoid someone picking it and maybe going off the rails because maybe someone has played this cube before and they're like they want a cube where they want to drop the infect deck and you don't know that there's an infect deck you don't know that there's a combo deck so you're just kind of like well this seems good just red white good stuff you know nothing wrong with boros so let's see, I got five cards, this has five cards, so we just give this a card, put this off to the side, and now for the last pack, uh, so we'll get this a card, 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 and now this is the sixth card in the draft. So we get our bounce, evolving wild, uh, return to creatures, flash the veil. We got some uh, basic land fetching, some more land fetching. Uh, a creature with shadow that you draw a card when it deals damage. A 3 3 for 6 with flying and vigilance, or you can cycle it early game. 
draw draw three for the price of two or a three one later on you can make it a four four two. So I feel like where I'm going I'll probably just take the hound. Because it's a three one for two and then later on you can bust it in for for uh four two. Yeah. And since I was the last uh since I was the last pile to get a card, uh, no distributing. So go back to um this pile from earlier, and go get a card from it. And then I'm going to pick another card. So for this one, we have empty ID elemental. Ujitai, Spore Frog, Retriever, Net, and Eidolon. Um, kind of an awkward pack because I don't know what's going on. But maybe we can go Student of Ujitai in case we get some like good pump spells. And sorry if everything seems really confusing. Uh, just to clarify, these are the six piles or the six players right and these are like the remaining draft the booster packs now, along with this one over here and then these are the current booster packs that are being used so after I got mine uh, this we're gonna Card. This will get a card. This will get a card. This will get a card. And, and they're not this pile because they already got their card. So then this will get a card, and this will get a card, and then I'll get a card. Okay, so we got Gary, Herd, Op. Aguanar, Delusions, and two artifacts. So maybe in this case, we just pick the Pilgrim's Eye? I'm not sure. I'm kind of doing this on the fly. Even though I built the cube. Uh, I'm still not familiar with all the possible archetypes, even though I did say it's combo heavy. So after I got my card, I'll get this card, this card, and this card, since this already got a card, and so did this. And then we'll go here. This card, this card, this card, and it's up. It's to us. Okay, so we got Impact Trimmers, we have Pro Red, uh, an enchantment that gives a creature shadow, but they can't uh, prevent all damage that would be dealt by that creature, which is awkward. Um, we got the Artifact Hate. A storm, and if a creature were to be put in your graveyard, you can sack this to reanimate, which is pretty good. I feel like I'll just pick that because you know, if someone gets rid of my hasty tasty or some big creature that I have, I can just bring it back, no questions asked. So this and this. Yep. So 
this file, this file, this file, this file, this file, and then to us. Okay, so we got, there are two big boys still kicking it. Apologies for the background noise. Um, I think out of the two, I'll just thank the trample. Because trample is pretty good and limited, in case you didn't know. So I'll just shuffle this up. And give this pile a card. Because these piles already got one. And then this file, this file, this file, this file, this file. And then to us. Hey, we got the 2 2 for 3 with flying. Or a lightning strike. Hmm. I think we take the lightning strike. But, you know, again, I don't know. And then this pack is just ours. I believe. We'll take the angel flying vigilance and cycle. Now, it is possible that I do screw this up as I get distracted easily and I kind of lose count of what I'm doing, so apologies for that. So this file, this file, this file, this file, this file, and then this pile will get a card first, and then us. Uh, I think out of these two, we just take the elemental, and then that I will get that card, and then this file will get a card, this file will get a card, and then we end up with the elephant, and then out of this file, uh, those piles will get a card, and then we don't end up with a card. So I, I'm not sure if that was normal or if I messed up. And then another pile of three cards. This pile, this pile, this pile, and then this pile, this pile, this pile, and then this pile with us. Uh, we probably just end up taking the thick thing. And then these two files. Yeah. So. So after that, uh, we can go. Uh, reverse order would be, we start with us, and then we go here, 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 and then here, 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 us, and then here, yep, alright. So we'll start with our pile. So this pile, with starting with the second pile, let's see, upside down cards. Uh, so we have a scour from existence, which that's a pretty heavy card in a format like this. And just seven mana. If you get to seven mana, that's you know just exile permanent. Uh, we got a good. You know, 3-3 three, three, and haste enchantment. Uh, scry 1 with creature dies. Plus 4, plus 4 and trample. A desert that does damage. We got some fixing. Uh, a really expensive soul ring. Uh, daze, which is pretty good in, in a proper format. Drain the well, which is just blow someone's mind up and you gain a life, you can do. 
Uh, this comes in, everyone loses two, we're fixing, uh, 1180, which kind of goes with the deck that I'm trying to build right now. Uh, 5 5 or 6 death touch, something that blows up a non black creature, and so on. So I think, just to keep it a theme, I will go with the Storm Singer. So I'm trying to keep on theme as much as possible. Uh, I don't know if it's friendly to go more than two colors. Uh, and I don't know, you know, I feel like if you know the format, you probably go with what you know, but I'm, I'm someone that is pretending to not know the format, and I feel like three colors is just hard to pull off. So this guy will get a pile here, 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 here. I'm gonna put this right here. And then this pile for here, 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 and then me. I think that's right. Alright, so we got an unearth. Archaeomancer, a Groth Prowler, Bane Town. Oh, Resurrection, that's pretty good. White Reanimation. Uh, even Twisted Abomination, Pulse Tracker, Divine Verdict, and a ETB Surveil 2 Aquatic. So I feel like maybe we just go Resurrection. Or divine bird. Uh, let's just go be ambitious and pick the reanimation guard. Cause why not? So since I was the last person to get a card, uh, I will set it off to the side because everyone else already got their cards in this pile. But still shuffle it up. So here we got this. This, 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 and then me, and then this. So we got a nettle grown, some fixing, cyclops, uh, a flying flyer with sky three, healer's hawk, fierce impact, a big dinosaur, uh, angelic addict edict, some creature enchantment hate. Earth is mine. Maybe you go Tron in this format. Flame Jet. And a gain six draw card for six mana. Well, I think to go with the theme, I will just take the big dinosaur. It's just good red white stuff. Maybe I should have taken that canary. Alright. So then this gets the card and then we set it off to the side. And then we'll take this pile. So here. 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 And then us. All the cards are upside down today. Alright, so we got a profit, draw two, uh, ETB, it gets two 1-1 one -one counters, we don't have any tap lands. That's pretty good. Uh, Firebrand, Spell Slinger, an Expanse, Eel, Devoted Druid, there's that removal. Uh, Rift Bolt. Interesting. Expedition Raptor. And here's another Heathy guy. And then there's a Presence Gone. So I think I'll just take the Vishina. So we 
got a I probably fucked up. Alright. Uh, okay, so we got a 5 damage to something. Some good fixing. Uh, a bolt for 3 mana. A flying trample. We got some more fixing fog. Uh, move the top three. Gain some life. Draw a card. Repeal. Get an aura. And then a fog. Seven damage. And I think. I think here we'll just take the fixing. screwed up or something. So they'll get a card and then it'll be me. Yeah, I figured I would screw up at some point in this. Well, we're probably gonna win me will slam the shrieker. Or there's lightning bolt and more fixing. I think we just slam a streaker, even though there's, you know, a few other good choices in here. But the uh, five five with flying triple haste for five, and it shuffles back in your deck. All right, so maybe I didn't mess up. Um, so we got this pack, and it's me, so maybe I just take the, the channeler, I'm not sure. Let me take the abomination because it's cycling. And then this, 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 this. And then here we 
probably just take the resupply. Because it's stinging six draw guards. And then bam, 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 and to us. Um, we'll just go ahead and grab that martyr soul. That's pretty good. Comes in as a a five four if you didn't if you don't have any tap lands. So you can you basically just convoke it. So it comes in as a five four. And then bam bam to me. But I think here I probably just take the the removal. Yeah, I don't know what other people are playing. And again, as someone who's new to the format, I have no idea if there's something I need to get rid of. So this, this, and this, and then this pile, this. And to me, I think with this one, we'll just end up with the, the Raider, because it draws a card, you deal damage, and it has Intimidate, so unless someone else is playing red, or artifacts, it's kind of hard to determine. So then we just end up back with this pack. Oh, Soul Warden's still here, so... But maybe we just go, is it Yogi for the fixing? And then this pack. Here, here. And then here, here, here. And then here, 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 here. And then here, here, here. And we end up with... Wrapper. Well, that actually works out for our deck. And then here, here. And Bolt of Cranials works for our deck too. And then here. And then we end up getting. Well, I guess we'll just grab the double because it fits our deck. As random as I tried to make this, it kind of just end up working out. Which is interesting. And then do, 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 do. So everyone has their last card from that. So now, since it's the last pack, we'll go in the other order. So. Straighten all these packs up or piles. So it'll go me and then this way instead of me this way. Alright. So we got Gruel Server, which is a good another double hand. Uh, removal, removal, a drainer, some counter matter, a drainer, a big snake. Enchantment, I'm fixing. Uh, hey, look, it cares about lands in your graveyard, so you know, maybe the grudge is a format. Or uh, I'm an archetype. Uh, a good old, like, put a card. It's hand shot. And then a white counter spell. But I think, you know, just because it's in here, I think you just take the white counter spell. <laughs> I'm not sure what you would do, but I feel like white counter spell in, in a format you don't know anything about is very good. So yeah, we'll go here, 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 
here. Put this over here. And then they get a file. And then it goes to us. And they get a card, not a full file. Alright, so this is interesting. Valley Dasher goes good with our deck. Uh, good white enchantment. A big 3 3 flyer that costs less. Oh. The removal. Red removal. I think. Well, we don't know what's going on. Still. Hmm. Maybe you just take the light link card? I'm not sure. Creature with shadow, that's pretty good actually. Another Tron Lane. Well, mm, I think we just take the, the shadow creature. Because a format I don't know anything about, and there's a creature with shadow, I think that's pretty good. I don't know if that's a little overpowered. But, seems good to me. So go bam, bam, bam. And this file, this file, this file. And then to me, all these upside down cards, I don't get it. Oh, uh, let's see. Another white creature with shadow. What in the world? I think we just take that. We, again, not knowing what the hell is going on with this format. White creatures in the shadow. Interesting. Are there other creatures in the shadow? We don't know. But I'm assuming, we can probably assume that they're not. There aren't. Bam, bam. And then, do, 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 do. Peregrine Drake. Oh boy. Uh, a 2-2 two, two for 3. It comes in with a 1-1. One, one. Life. Hey, look. 3-2 uh, for 1. High tides in this format. Wow, High Tide and Peregrine Drake in the same pack. What are the odds? A 4 3 with Havoc, or a Havoc Devils with Trample. A Fling. Pretty good if you're trying to go that route. I think I just take Fury. I'm not in the colors for High Tide, Peregrine Drake, Shenanigans. Uh, but. That's an archetype, I guess. So, can I get a card? And then, they get a card, they get a card, they get a card. Oh, shit. Wow, and a white creature with infect. What is going on? So we got both of the infect creatures. Or we get a 1 1 with haste and fly. I think we just take the other infect creature because we don't know what the hell is going on. We just 
windmill slam the other impact creature. We have both of the shadow creatures and both the impact creatures. That's crazy. Alright, so back to this pack where it's us. We got the burn, the fixing, the burn. I think that's how it works, right? If I'm totally butchering the way a draft works, I'm sorry. So we'll go here, 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 here. And then we make it the card, and then to us. Uh, I think we just take the the dasher because it's fast end up taking the, the crag for the fixing. again. I don't think that makes any sense. But just take the one with haste. interesting. I think I kind of screwed up uh, where what pile goes. Um, I think they'll get a pop card and then we'll get the card um, out of this. I guess we'll just think pestilence because that's pretty dangerous and then they get this card. And this is Yeah. I'm really 
I really confused myself. Oh well. Uh, out of this pile, I guess we just take the Chimera. It's kind of awkward. And then there, 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 there. Or actually, not there, but I already gave them a card. So there, 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 and then we end up with this blue card. And then there, there, there. Uh, well, I guess we'll just take the removal. There, there, and then back to them, they get that card. Okay, so we got all four. Apologies about that. I had a weird phone call. Uh, so we got our piles of, you know, possible decks to review and see what we can grab or what kind of decks we can maybe make. And, uh, I, I won't bother with mine because, you know, we pretty much did a Boros build. We can maybe splash black, a little bit of the black that we grabbed, a Pestilence and Blood Curdle, uh, but there's not too much. We just, we mostly went uh, Boros, you know, we got Abomination for Swamp Cycling, uh, but it's, it's pretty much a Boros you know, go face that. Uh, for this pile, now I'm not guaranteeing any pile has like a valid deck, but maybe we will get something. Um, so they got a you know, maybe we they can go big green creature And there's some ramp, some more ramp, and maybe Scare Killer is a ramp card. Uh, Devoted Druid is kind of ramp. And we got a pump spell. And maybe they go burn artifact hate. And then we got a fog. Looter. Uh, we got blow up something with flying, uh, enchantment, fetching. They end up with high tide. Uh, empty just for some creatures. Uh, they ended up with an effect creature of their own, which is interesting. Uh, they wanted to, they don't have a, they have a couple of pump spells. There's an artifact that draws a card. Uh, a white card that cycles. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. They could go Jund, maybe, with Morgburst, just Toxic Nim, Cold Tracker, Curse, Imp, 
the Shinobi Ninja Zudu Sleuth Scorpion Icebreakers. You may have a Terramorph Expanse. They need it. So that's that's kind of what they end up with. I feel like John may be that Dex, uh, that. Uh, scenario, that pile scenario. Uh, this pile, uh, let's see, they end up with the Tron Land, Impact Tremors, so they got the Spells Fist, Cathartic Reunion, Stern Dismissal, got uh, Pondering Mage, Lightning Bolt, Divination, Augur, Owl, Yule, mm. Hexproof, Thermo, Alchemist, Eager Snipe, I guess if you want to go Jess Guy, they got Card Draw, Life Gain, Major Chant, Edict, just, uh, just a big trample. Or if you want to go, uh, uh, Grixis, they got Breath, Soul Cage, Falcon Rays, Moment of Craving, Drain the Well, Bane Hound, Liturgy and Blood, Final Death. Yeah, they got they got enough good cards for you know you can you can go Grixis with this build. So that's nice. So we got Grixis, Jund, Boros. I guess with my pile I could have gone uh, Mardu. Uh, the fixing isn't there for those decks. Unfortunately. Okay, so off the bat we got Glade Cover Scout and Umbra. And Savage Smash. So maybe going blue. They got a canarium. Or Naya. So they got Ivy Lane. They got Weather the Storm. Spore Frog for the Fog. We got a Flyer. Might as well put put stone front in here. They got Ornithopter. Maybe put Warmancer in there, you know. In case we lose our enchantment. Presence of Dawn, Fierce Impact. Yeah, we could go. We could go Naya. You know, here's another enchantment we could put on our hex proof. We got some burn, some fetch. Yeah, that's not a bad idea to go Naya here. And we got Canarium, Evolving Wilds, Boiler Works, Wars of Gilgate, Celestia and Gilgate. It's not impossible to go Naya with this deck. So that's what I'm seeing so far. And then for this pile, uh, let's see. Well, maybe we go blue, blue black. I'm not sure what Trinket Mage wants to get here. The gate. Big 
that. Like that's good. We have something that blows something up. We got removal. Uh, this is late game removal, which isn't too bad. We got a creature with fear. Mirren Spy. That's interesting. Catalog. Vicious Rumor. Peregrine Drake. That. Um, if we won, I guess we could go Gaston. Or, what is this? Asper? Yeah, that's the white. That's the white. Yeah, it's a little. It pushes the just guy a little. The trinket mage and grab us. And that's for the fixing. We can go Asper here, but it's a little. It's a little more awkward. Maybe you don't need to go three colors with all decks, but that's what I'm kind of seeing. And then for the last pile, let's see. We just, uh, they have an attraction here. Alright. So, what do we do now? Dirtoff. Do we, can we do attraction legs? Metal drum. Is that possible to go? I feel like you need a zero drop to pull that off. So we got Terrarium, Prism, Bottle. Hmm. This is looking like Teamer. I guess we can get a team right here. We got the fixing, we got the counter spells. Yeah, I I guess this will this could just end up being Yeah, this is this ends up having the teamer build, which is good. Unfortunately, it's missing the last piece for Metal Drone, Retraction Helix. Infinite Combo, you can just uh, Retraction Helix, another creature for a zero drop. A zero drop artifact, and then Metal Drone kills something. So that's kind of what we end up with with this uh, draft simulation. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this kind of like rough draft, popper cube draft simulation that I kind of wanted to put together and show what was possible. Uh, so we did end up with some cards left over in the box and then Oh, uh, we ended up with a few archetypes. Some are kind of janky, just because you know, it's it's not it's completely random, but not enough. Like if other people were actually picking the card, um, so it ended up being kind of awkward there in the end. And again, apologies for the noise in the background. Uh, most of this will be sped up, like the deck buildings and the, and the pack building and the shuffling and all that stuff so uh, if you enjoyed it uh, let me know 
and comment below what you think of the cube and let me know if you want to see more. Have a good one.